Okay. Now, you want to know about these, right? You don't? Okay. Now, you're, after I tell you about this, you're going to want to know where I got these. It, all right. Well, some people are smart. Wait, wait. Who said they already have them? Who, who already? You, you raising your hand? You're going to be sad you raised your hand. You know why? Because I'm going to call you FTI. Why aren't you wearing them? I could care less what the hell people think of me. You know? I don't care. It's, it's, you know, and you, you got to know, none of us are superhuman. We're all susceptible to biological damage. Nature doesn't care who you know, how much money. It doesn't matter. It, it, has, it does not pick on anyone. So these, you can get these right. These are UVX. I've talked about on my site because I'm hot. Now they're, but they're hard to find. They're really hard to find. They're these really exotic stores. It's called Amazon. <laughs> and they're very expensive. $8.50. <laughs> now why the hell would you want to wear these glasses and not be able to see people in stores like this? It's because... We all know blue light is a problem at night, right? No, no controversy about that. You got nightshade on your iOS. You got blue light filters on the current version of Android. They, for night, right? Blue light, we know, because when you have blue light at night, what does it do? Suppresses melatonin, right? Now, you need blue light. Blue light is not evil. It is, it is crucial for your health. When do you need blue light? In the morning, that's correct. In the morning, early morning. But here's the key thing. And these sad lights, I didn't know at the time, now I know. Those sad lights were all intense blue light in the morning, high intensity, terrible. Terrible. Why? How does blue light work? Blue light goes through your eye through, and it hits the retinal pigmented epithelium. It generates something called a reactive oxygen species, which sends a free radical and tells your body to set it up to make melatonin. But... The, you need to do it in a way where you have it balanced with other wavelengths, specifically red uh, near-infrared and, and, and mid-infrared uh, uh, wavelengths. If you don't, because the reactive oxygen species is dangerous, right? Uncontrolled, it can cause damage. And in fact, it's this uncontrolled blue light exposure that is going to cause an epidemic, an epidemic of blindness in the United States in the next 10 or 20 years, unless people get this. Epidemic of blindness and cataracts. The reason why sun, blue light from the sun is fine because it's balanced with red and infrared. And what does that do? That causes regeneration and repair in your mitochondria. So you don't get the damage from the reactive oxygen species. But these are not just at night. These, the why I'm wearing them now, as soon as I go outside, I take them off. These are reverse sunglasses. You only need them when you're inside under artificial lights. And not all artificial lights. But the government, in its infinite wisdom, it made a really wise strategic move to save energy. LED lights are incredibly efficient. Probably 90% less, 90% redu reduction of energy compared to maybe even 95% the incandescence. So it was wise from that much. But they had, I didn't know either. I was an earlier adopter. Remember I said it was two things? Sitting down was the other one. This was the other one that nearly killed me. It nearly killed me. Exposure to unopposed artificial blue light.